CSEC French, you can send them into Television Jamaica's Facebook page or Instagram at Television Jamaica. Today, we're discussing La Vie d'un Adolescent. We are going to um, have more on Schools Not Out after the break. Bon, so. Bonjour, Salut. Taïna. <laughs> ça, va? ça va? Très bien. Ça fait une semaine déjà. Ça Alors, fait... quoi de neuf? Oh, j'ai travaillé comme d'habitude. Oh, toi et le travail. C'est horrible. <laughs> Alors, encore Alors, qu'est-ce que l'on fait aujourd'hui Ok, on va faire, on va continuer avec la vie d'un adolescent. Très bien. But we will look at the contextual dialogue and the passé composé. And just before we do that, though, some of my students sometimes ask, why learn French? Why learn a foreign language? And you know what I say? Je dis pour communiquer. Bien sûr. Pour comprendre. Pour comprendre. Pour Accepter ou dire non, to accept or say no, ou pour négocier, to negotiate. And in today's world, it's so important to be able to negotiate. That's right. You don't have to get violent or angry. And you can make new friends. On peut faire de nouveaux amis. Uh -huh. On peut visiter de nouveaux pays. So learning a foreign language is a major tool in being able to understand and accept people's differences. And in the context of the world today, I just wanted to share that. Mais uh. on continue. Alors, quels sont les objectifs de cette leçon? Ah bon, voilà. By the end of this session, you will be able to talk about what you did in the past. Et Donc, ce que nous avons fait dans le passé. Correct. Mm -hmm. And how to complete a contextual dialogue based on cues. Alors, comment compléter un dialogue en contexte en fonction des euh, informations qui seront proposées par euh, le CXC. C'est correct. And also, we'll be able to talk about travel and vacation activities. Le voyage et... Les activités pendant le voyage. Très bien. So, let's... Euh, nous Prat allons continuer, n'est-ce pas? Eh oui, pratiquons un petit peu. Parce que, comme tu sais, beaucoup d'élèves ont des problèmes avec le passé composé. OK? That's... Donc, la dernière fois, nous avons travaillé sur l'imparfait, mais pas sur le passé composé. C'est vrai, mm -hmm. c'est vrai. Did you understand what she said? She said that many students have an issue with the passé composé. Last time we did the imperfect tense, which is one of the past tenses, but this time we're going to look at. And here's a, a tense that's actually more common in uh, the, probably the most commonly used past tense. And this is how it works. Okay. So, le passé composé est composé. It is composed of combien de parties? Hmm. Deux parties. Deux parties. Deux parties. Et la première partie, c'est quoi? Eh bien, c'est, je ne sais pas, peut-être avoir ou être. Oui, les deux, les mm -hmm. deux. So, the first part of the passé composé must be the helping verb. The big name for it is the auxiliary, auxiliary verb. verb. And it's going to be either avoir or être in the present tense. And then, après, qu'est-ce que nous avons? Passe participe. Oui, le participe passé. passé. And uh -huh. here we have an example right there on the screen for you. We have um, j'ai passé. Now that's a regular verb. Passé. Passé, a regular. Verb. regular. So uh -huh. we make it by simply taking the infinitive, dropping the R, adding an accent over the E. J'ai passé, par exemple. J'ai regardé un autre, par exemple. J'ai mangé. J'ai mangé. Uh -huh. Or il a mangé. Uh -huh. You, with il, you change the auxiliary verb to a. So you must agree with the subject in all cases. Mm -hmm. Et maintenant un verbe irrégulier. <coughs> faire. On utilise faire si souvent. Par exemple, vous avez fait. Ah oui. Vous avez fait. Oui. Okay. Et j'ai dit à Mylène, and I said to her, qu'est-ce que tu as fait pendant la semaine? Tout à fait. Right? So there's faire and now we have, here is a verb that goes with être. Rester. Rester. Okay, and although the past participle is regular, we are now moving to être, and so we get je suis resté. Mais regardez deux heures. Pourquoi ça? 
L'accord, the agreement, okay? So the agreement needs to be made between the past participle and the subject. So je suis resté, I'm a female, therefore I need to have an extra E. Je suis resté, but this doesn't affect the pronunciation. Right. And so if we look at the past participle like an adjective, that's why it changes. Notice that the adjectives have to agree. Yeah, that's right. Right. And so now we have nous nous sommes amusés. Alors, E, S. Mm -hmm. The same thing, nous nous sommes amusés. So here is a reflexive verb. Right. Hence, the nous nous. Sounds a bit strange, but yeah. that's the way it is. And nous nous sommes amusés. We have the S at the end. But here again, it doesn't affect the pronunciation. C'est vrai. And I want to point out this is such a, an important verb because that means we had fun. Okay? Yes. So we don't say the verb avoir à tort in this case to say I have fun. Tout à fait. Right? Je me suis amusé. I had fun. Nous nous sommes amusés. We had fun. And now let's look at this little chart. We're going to practice. Okay. So... Alors, nous avons une pratique ici avec le passé composé. OK, donc ici, vous avez les verbes à l'infinitif, tout à fait euh, à gauche. Et en haut, vous avez les pronoms. Donc, je, tu, il, elle ou on, nous, vous, il ou elle, pluriel. D'accord? Donc, pour la première, pour la première col colonne, nous avons avoir... Oui, j'ai Et ça vous donne J'ai eu. J'ai eu. eu. Allons voir. And puis nous avons tu as eu. But what are we missing here Can you try to do that one What's the missing verb Il, elle, on a eu. Mm -hmm. On a eu. That's a funny word, on a eu. What does that mean in English, Mylène, on a eu Well, a eu is the, the, is the past tense of avoir. So you would have had right we have had or we had and i like to call on an umbrella pronoun because it means we people in general everybody here on a eu we've had yes. uh -huh. so we're going to go to the next verb faire which we just did j'ai fait tu as fait il a fait nous avons fait but vous vous avez fait exactement vous avez fait exactement uh -huh. and the next one s'il te plaît, mais... Être. Mm -hmm. Donc, j'ai été, tu as été, il a été, nous avons été, vous avez été, il, elle... Ont été. Très bien. <laughs> Or we can even say, ont été. <laughs> And yes, it is spelled just like the word that means summer, été. But it's the context that's going to tell us which is which. That's right. Now we have resté. Alors, resté, je suis resté, tu es resté, il est resté, et nous avons pour la forme nous, nous sommes restés. So you can see here, we put uh, an extra E, extra E if the nous represent all females, and an S because it's more than one females. Otherwise, it remains without the E, but you still have the S. And remember, Oops. if you have 10,000 women, but just one man, it's still masculine. Ah, okay, so... Ça, <laughs> c'est pas évident, ça. Vous êtes restés, <laughs> ils sont restés. Oui, ils sont restés. Now we move on to s'amuser. Je me suis amusé. I had fun. But we need now to say, how do you say you had fun? You are having so much fun oh, all yes. the time. Tu so, t'es amusé. Tu t'es amusé, <laughs> voilà. And we again have the two E's. If Mylène was writing this, she would put that extra E on. Il, elle s'est amusé. He or she had fun. Nous nous, nous sommes amusés. Vous vous êtes amusés. Ils se sont amusés. Alors, everybody understand? I hope that you got it right. <laughs> I hope you got it right. <laughs> All right. So now we are going to look at the contextual dialogue. Le dialogue en contexte. Now, Some students think it's hard, but it is not hard if you prepare correctly. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to help you to prepare correctly. But here are the instructions. 
You are returning to the Caribbean after spending your holidays in France and on the plane at the airport in France, you meet your friend André, who is also returning home. Using 80 to 100 words, complete the dialogue between you and André, giving your replies and questions. So the responses to all of the cues listed below must be included in the completed dialogue. One, your expression of surprise and a greeting. Two, say where in France you spent your holidays and how long you were there for. Comment on the weather as well. And you have to say what you did there and who you were with. And four, you need to mention the place where you stayed, what you thought about it and what you ate. And five, you must inquire about where your friend stayed and how the vacation, and, and how he spent the vacation. That's a very French Turner phrase. <laughs> what the vacation was like for him. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to read the entire dialogue. It's, uh, and as, uh, that's what you must do. You have to read it through from the beginning. And we're going to do it twice for our listeners on the radio. Okay, so those of us who can see, bear with us. So, this is André talking. <coughs> Salut! Quelle coïncidence! Très bien, merci. Tu viens de passer tes vacances en France? Ah, c'est très intéressant. C'est une très belle ville. Ah, c'est bien ça. Moi, j'ai passé mes vacances avec mon frère. On a passé une semaine à la plage à Nice. Oui, j'adore nager et faire du ski nautique. C'est génial. Nous avons été hébergés dans une famille. Ils étaient super gentils. Ah, d'accord. Et comment tu l'as trouvé? C'est dommage. Moi, j'ai très bien mangé. J'ai Adorer la ratatouille préparée par la grand-mère. C'est une spécialité du sud de la France. Oui, j'ai passé des vacances extraordinaires. L'avion va bientôt décoller. Alors, tu veux du chewing-gum? <laughs> All right, so now I will read it again. Listen, absorb and understand. So, I'm André. Salut! Quelle coïncidence! Très bien, merci. Tu viens de passer tes vacances en France? Ah, c'est très intéressant. C'est une très belle ville. Ah, c'est bien ça. Moi, j'ai passé mes vacances avec mon frère. On a passé une semaine à la plage à Nice. Oui, j'adore nager et faire du ski nautique. C'est génial. Nous avons été hébergés dans une famille. Ils étaient super gentils. Ah, d'accord. Et comment tu l'as trouvé? Ah, C'est dommage. Moi, j'ai très bien mangé. J'ai adoré la, la ratatouille préparée par la grand-mère. C'est une spécialité du sud de la France. Oui, j'ai passé des vacances extraordinaires. L'avion va bientôt décoller, alors... Tu veux du chewing gum? <laughs> All right. Okay, guys, ready. So here's what we have to do. We have to look at what André says first and then what he says afterwards in order to make that link. All right. So André says, Salut! Quelle coïncidence! And then I say, Bonjour, André. Quelle surprise! So I have to respond to his greeting. And the, when André speaks afterwards, it tells me that I have to ask him a question because he has given us an answer. He says, très bien, merci. So I now have, before he says that, I have to say, comment vas-tu? And now he will answer. Très bien, merci. Tu viens de passer tes vacances en France? So clearly I have to come up with an answer that works, right? And I will say... Oui, j'ai passé trois semaines à Aix-en-Provence, a lovely little town, a city rather. <laughs> C'était super. Il a fait beau la plupart du temps et très chaud aussi. 
tu viens de passer tes vacances, just to tell, to remind you that tu viens de, is the immediate past, okay? You have just spent your holiday in France, okay? Excellent, yes. All right. And now again, we have to look at what André says before and after. So, Mylène will read that section. Ah, c'est très intéressant. C'est une très belle ville. Right, and so, I will have to come in with something responding to that. So I go, oui, j'ai eu des cours de français et j'ai fait du camping aussi. J'étais avec ma classe. I was with my class. Huh? J'ai eu, there's our passé composé of avoir. I had. So I had French classes. So it wasn't all holiday like Milan <laughs> likes. I had some French classes and I also did some camping. J'étais, that's the imperfect from last week. J'étais avec ma classe. Mm -hmm. Donc André would say, ah, c'est bien ça. Moi, j'ai passé, moi, j'ai passé mes vacances avec mon frère. On a passé une semaine à la plage à Nice. Mm. Whew, quelle chance. Oops. <laughs> Exactly. So he just said he spent a week on the beaches of Nice. So poor me. What do I say? Quelle chance. You're so lucky. Tu aimes la mer alors. Oui, j'adore nager et faire du ski nautique. C'est génial. Right. So la mer means sea. Okay. So we have la mer with an E on the end, which means mother, but la mer... And some people say that's the mother of our life anyway. Mm -hmm. La mer, without that extra E or the accent over the first one, is C. And he says, you did that right already. You said that part. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to respond now and say, Où as-tu resté? Or, Où as-tu été hébergé? And they both mean the same thing. Yes. That means, where did you stay? And I would say, nous avons été hébergé dans une famille. Ils étaient super gentils. They were super nice, super gentils. Mm -hmm. Yes. And now what do I say? Pour me. Alors moi, je suis restée <laughs> dans une auberge de jeunesse. I stayed in a youth hostel. Mind you, it was comfortable. There's some very <laughs> nice ones. Ah, d'accord. Et comment tu l'as trouvé? Now notice, comment tu l'as trouvé means what did you think about it? How was it? It wasn't how did you find it? How mm -hmm. did you look and find it? No. Mm -hmm. What did you think about it? So be careful of that. And I say, pas mal, not bad. Mais la nourriture, la nourriture n'était pas bonne. <laughs> tu n'étais pas à Nice, tu vois. <laughs> so André says, c'est dommage. Moi, j'ai très bien mangé. J'ai adoré la ratatouille préparée par la grand-mère. C'est une spécialité du sud de la France. So look at that, he's boasting on me now. So I said <laughs> my food, la nourriture n'était pas très bonne. And he says, he does say, c'est dommage, that's a pity. And then he tells me about this wonderful ratatouille. Oh la la. <laughs> and so I come in with, ah, tu t'es bien amusé alors. Well, I'm happy. My vacation was good too, but he had more fun. Tu t'es bien amusé alors. And I respond, oui, j'ai passé des vacances extraordinaires. Regarde, l'avion va bientôt décoller. Tu veux du chewing gum? <laughs> For my ears. <laughs> All right, so we're going to show you where these lovely cities are. So, André, or Mylène, <laughs> dites, dites-nous. Alors, André was in Nice. Alors, you can see that he's right on the south of France. And it's by the sea. So that's the reason why he was able to do all these water water uh, games there. It's the French Riviera, yeah, isn't it? the French Riviera. La Côte d'Azur. Oh. Because <laughs> azur, blue in the sky and blue down the sea. Everything is nice. The weather is really nice. Just as it says, nice, yeah. nice. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's a very exciting um, Et cher, très cher, hein? Yeah. It's a bit expensive there, but it's an exciting place. Whereas I went to Aix-en-Provence, which is also very beautiful. It's near the foothills of the Alps. And it's known for its art. It is the home, or was the birthplace of Cézanne. 
the artist, the famous post-impressionist artist Paul Cezanne. Mm -hmm. And people can do camping. It's a university town. It's a university town with lots of things to do. All right, let's have a look at some pictures. Voilà le camping at Aix-en-Provence. See there the hills in the background? A group of students who um, are getting ready to spend the night. Et voilà. Ski nautique. Which Milan does not do. <laughs> <laughs> well, neither do I, mind you. No, pas du tout. Le ski nautique. Mais j'adore nager. Tu aimes la mer, toi aussi? Mm, oui, j'aime bien. Ça bon. Alors, and let's have a look at this ratatouille. Par that... contre, je fais de la ratatouille. Ah, et moi, je mange de la ratatouille. <laughs> OK. Yes, donc avec des courgettes, des tomates, euh, de l'aubergine. Ah oui. Oui, c'est oui. tout un mélange. Oui. So, you know what tomates are, but aubergine, eggplant, courgette, zucchini, de l'ail aussi, n'est-ce pas? De l'ail, oui. Oui. Moi, j'ajoute aussi euh, de l'oignon. De, de l'oignon et aussi des patates douces, des petits morceaux de patates ah douces, bon? sweet potatoes. Mais ça, c'est méthode Mylène. Ça doit être délicieux. <laughs> so, she mentioned some spices. She mentioned lye, lye, which means garlic. garlic. Oignon, which is? Oignon. And l'huile d'olive. Ah oui, l'huile d'olive, bien sûr, la ratatouille. Olive oil. And mm -hmm. we have some other foods up there, stuck up in the corner. What are those, Mylène? That doesn't look... Well, this, uh, what is white, looks like a goat cheese. Du voilà. fromage de chèvre. C'est très populaire en oui. France. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Avec uh, la petite baguette. Oui, les baguettes, mm -hmm. voilà. Le pain qui est très, très long et délicieux. <laughs> et voilà, c'est quelle sorte de viande? C'est quelle sorte de viande? Je ne suis pas sûre, peut-être du porc. Voilà. Du poulet, je ne okay. sais pas. Alors, on continue. So now, we are going to um, read this dialogue for you once more, once more, and then you'll see how it all comes together. And take a picture so that you can have the whole dialogue. OK? Mm -hmm. So, je suis André. Ouais. OK? Salut! Quelle coïncidence! Bonjour, André. Quelle surprise! Comment vas-tu? Très bien, merci. Tu viens de passer tes vacances en France? Oui, j'ai passé trois semaines à Aix-en-Provence. C'était super. Il a fait beau la plupart du temps et très chaud aussi. Ah, c'est très intéressant. C'est une très belle ville. J'ai eu des cours de français et j'ai fait du camping aussi. J'étais avec ma classe. Ah, c'est bien ça. Moi, j'ai passé mes vacances avec mon frère. On a passé une semaine à la plage à Nice. Quelle chance! Tu aimes la mer alors? Oh oui! J'adore nager et faire du ski nautique. C'est génial! Alors, où es-tu resté? Sorry, it doesn't say alors. It just says, où es-tu resté? Or, où est-ce que tu as hébergé? Nous avons été hébergés dans une famille. Ils étaient super gentils. Ah bon? Alors moi, je suis restée dans une auberge de jeunesse. Ah, d'accord. Et comment tu l'as trouvé? Pas mal, mais la nourriture n'était pas très bonne. Mmh, C'est dommage. Moi, j'ai très bien mangé. J'ai adoré la ratatouille préparée par la grand-mère. C'est une spécialité du sud de la France. Tu t'es bien amusé alors? Oui, j'ai passé des vacances extraordinaires. L'avion va bientôt décoller. Alors... I want to just go back to something that I missed out a word. I was rushing along. Where it says, Où es-tu resté? Where did you stay? <coughs> I should have said, Où est-ce que tu as été hébergé? Okay, where were you lodged? Où est-ce que tu as été hébergé? We need that été in there for this to make sense. So, we have a few minutes left, about three minutes left. We're just going to break this down a little for you before the pause. So, if I say, as Milen was pointing out, you just spent your vacation in France. That's actually André. How does he say that, Milen? He says... J'ai passé... Pardon, non. Uh, uh, from venir plus the immediate future we want to look at. Tu viens 
de passer après? C'est la troisième, oui? Oui. Oui, j'ai passé trois semaines à Aix-en-Provence. Ah uh -huh. mm -hmm. Il a fait beau. It was beautiful most of the time. And uh, André says, <coughs> c'est très intéressant. C'est une très belle ville, which we already looked at, yes? Mm -hmm. And then we, let's jump a little bit down to um, the on a passé. Notice he says, on a passé une semaine à la plage à Nice. What does he mean by that? On is really the idea of using the we. Oui. We spent a week on the beach in Nice. Okay, so he's mm -hmm. not talking then about other people. Yes. He's talking about himself mm -hmm. and his brother. That's right. And this is a really lovely expression. Quelle chance. Quelle chance. Mm -hmm. What luck. Um, we are going to also look at the fact that he says, nous avons été hébergés. What exactly does that mean? As nous you avons. said, mm -hmm. we are lodged. But here is the past tense in the passive form. Okay? Not nous avons hébergé, but nous avons été hébergés. We have been. It's like the idea of saying been. Right. Okay? Right. And we have as well, Comment tu l'as trouvé? So if I say to Milan, she has gone to visit another country, I say, ah bon, tu es allé en Martinique? And she will say, Oui, c'était bien. Comment tu l'as trouvé? C'était bien, oui. Tu l'as trouvé intéressant? Intéressante. Très bien. And again, we, um, we have the food, la nourriture, and we have his... His exclamation, c'est dommage. That's a pity because I did not have a good experience with the food. Can I just say, with moi, j'ai très bien mangé. Students tend to say that they, they eat, they ate a lot of food. Remember, what we eat is food. So we don't need to say, j'ai mangé beaucoup de nourriture. You just need to say, j'ai très bien mangé. Right, <laughs> right. They never say, I'm full, for example. If you say, you know, if I say, je suis plein, non, non, non. <laughs> <laughs> J'ai bien mangé. I've, I've eaten well. Je suis très satisfaite. Mm -hmm. If you say, je suis plein, people will think you're pregnant, no? Je suis, if you're full of something. I, so we don't say that. We'll say, j'ai bien mangé, je suis très satisfaite. And again, you spent, he says, what does he say, André? The last two lines. Oui, j'ai passé des vacances extraordinaires. Right, that means and here, l'avion va bientôt décoller. Is the immediate future? L'avion va bientôt décoller. Immediate future with décoller meaning to take off. So remember, they're on a plane. Okay, so the plane is going to take off, and he's asking, "Do you want some chewing gum?" Yes. Alors, tu veux du chewing gum? And now we are going to have a pause, I believe. We are going to um, have more on schools not out after the break. Hi there, I'm Simon Preston from TVJ. Thank you very much for watching our YouTube channel. To see our latest videos and also to see live events, click here. To see our full videos on onespotmedia.com, click here. Thank you very much. COVID-19 tip. Protect yourself and others from getting sick by washing your hands after coughing or sneezing when caring for the sick before, during and after you prepare food before eating, after toilet use, when hands are visibly dirty, and after handling animals or animal waste. Hi there, I'm Simon Preston from TVJ. Thank you very much for watching our YouTube channel. To see our latest videos and also to see live events, click here. To see our full videos on onespotmedia.com, click here. Thank you very much for watching. Reduce your risk of viral illnesses like the flu and coronavirus. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water. Cover your nose and mouth when coughing with a tissue and dispose of it. Avoid close contact with anyone with a cold or flu-like symptoms. If you become ill, please visit your doctor or the nearest health center and share your travel history. The flu and coronavirus can kill. Let's protect each other. A message from the Ministry of Health and Wellness.
Hi there, I'm Simon Preston from TVJ. Thank you very much for watching our YouTube channel. To see our latest videos and also to see live events, click here. To see our full videos on onespotmedia.com, click here. Thank you very much for watching. COVID-19 tip. Protect yourself and others from getting sick by washing your hands after coughing or sneezing when caring for the sick before, during and after you prepare food before eating, after toilet use, when hands are visibly dirty, and after handling animals or animal waste. Hi there, I'm Simon Preston from TVJ. Thank you very much for watching our YouTube channel. To see our latest videos and also to see live events, click here. To see our full videos on onespotmedia.com, click here. Thank you very much for watching. Reduce your risk of viral illnesses like the flu and coronavirus. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water. Cover your nose and mouth when coughing with a tissue and dispose of it. Avoid close contact with anyone with the cold or flu-like symptoms. If you become ill, please visit your doctor or the nearest health center and share your travel history. The flu and coronavirus can kill. Let's protect each other. A message from the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Hi there, I'm Simon Preston from TVJ. Thank you very much for watching our YouTube channel. To see our latest videos and also to see live events, click here. To see our full videos on onespotmedia.com, click here. Thank you very much for watching. COVID-19 tip. Protect yourself and others from getting sick by washing your hands after coughing or sneezing when caring for the sick before, during and after you prepare food before eating, after toilet use, when hands are visibly dirty, and after handling animals or animal waste. Hi there, I'm Simon Preston from TVJ. Thank you very much for watching our YouTube channel. To see our latest videos and also to see live events, click here. To see our full videos on onespotmedia.com, click here. Thank you very much for watching. Reduce your risk of viral illnesses like the flu and coronavirus. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water. Cover your nose and mouth when coughing with a tissue and dispose of it. Avoid close contact with anyone with the cold or flu-like symptoms. If you become ill, please visit your doctor or the nearest health center and share your travel history. The flu and coronavirus can kill. Let's protect each other. A message from the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Hi there, I'm Simon Preston from TVJ. Thank you very much for watching our YouTube channel. To see our latest videos and also to see live events, click here. To see our full videos on onespotmedia.com, click here. Thank you very much for watching. COVID-19 tip. Protect yourself and others from getting sick by washing your hands after coughing or... Hi there, I'm Simon Preston from TVJ. Thank you very much for watching our YouTube channel. To see our latest videos and also to see live events, click here. This your full Hi there, I'm Simon Preston from TVJ. Thank you very much for watching our YouTube channel. To see our latest videos and also to see live events, click here. To see our full videos on onespotmedia.com, click here. Thank you very much. Get moving! Home workout series with Jamaica Moves. Jamaica Moves! Mobilize them! Exercise them! Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 8.35 a.m. Hi! We haven't left you out. It's Get Moving Kids. Home workout series with Jamaica Moves. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays at 2 p.m. on TVJ. COVID-19 tip. Protect yourself and others from getting sick by washing your hands after coughing or sneezing when caring for the sick, before, during, and after you prepare food, before eating, after toilet use, when hands are visibly dirty, and after handling animals or animal waste.
Welcome back to Schools Not Out, your daily classroom for CSEC and CAPE subjects. And today we're doing CSEC French. We are about to do some conversation practice, the oral part of the exam, but I just want to remind you to look at the screen at the very end because we have another quiz activity for you, another review activity, which we're hoping you will connect to and enjoy and get the practice. So, on commence. Mm -hmm. So today we are going to do some conversation. Conversation, remember, questions. It's the part of the exam which is quite, which gives you quite a lot of points. So it's important for you to try to listen to the questions and see how you can answer them. Today the topic is traveling. And also we have added the past tense. And these are questions from CXC. Okay, so je vais être l'examinatrice et Taina va être l'étudiante. Oui. D'accord? And when I get there, I'm going to breathe and I'm going to calm myself down because obviously I would have been practicing and warming up my French and my French muscles. That's so important so that you don't feel nervous, n'est-ce pas? But also one thing I would like to uh, tell you is that when you come into the room where the examiner is, try to be very relaxed. Just breathe three times before you get into the room, but also speak French. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour, madame. No English, ok? Oui. Alors. Bien, alors la première, non, la première question. <rire> Taina, we're going straight into it. Yes. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Est-ce que tu as visité un pays francophone? Ok, so je réfléchis. I listen, I'm not going to just start talking. And I say, hmm, oui, j'ai visité la Martinique. Ah, intéressant. J'ai beaucoup aimé la Martinique. OK. And here we have the question she just asked us. So, est-ce que tu as déjà visité un pays francophone? I remind you that a pays francophone is a country where French is spoken. We put it there for you, un pays où on parle français. And here was my, uh, oh, here was the question, close to what I said, here's the answer rather. Oui, je suis déjà allé, and I'll say en France if it was France, en Martinique if it's Martinique, en Guadeloupe. But I started out saying j'ai visité, so when you say j'ai visité, you don't need that preposition. That's right. You just yeah. need the article. Notice en France, en Martinique, en Guadeloupe, that is because those countries are feminine, the gender is feminine. With Canada, we use O because it's masculine, c'est le Canada. Cuba, we just say a Cuba because there's no article in front of Cuba. But for the United States, aux États-Unis, which is the plural article. Oui. On continue? Oh, okay. But we're going to look at this question again <laughs> because we could have had a negative response, right? So if she had said, tu vas répéter? Est-ce que tu as déjà visité un pays francophone? And if I never had, I would have then said, no, je ne suis jamais allé en France. I have never been to France. Or, no, je ne suis jamais visité, or je n'ai jamais visité um, la France. Mm -hmm. Or, je n'ai jamais visité un pays francophone. And notice that n'a jamais or ne suis jamais, that is the negative. And we're sandwiching, let's say, sandwiching the... Um, Auxiliary part of the verb in the negative. But we're going to move on now to another question. Alors, question numéro 2. Où est-ce que tu as passé tes grandes vacances l'année dernière? Les grandes vacances. Is that... Mm, oui, je me rappelle, je me rappelle. Je suis allée rendre visite à mes grands-parents à Mobey. Oh! Donc, tu es allé à Montigo Bay. Oui. Mm -hmm. J'aime bien Montigo Bay. Et combien de temps y es-tu resté? Did you hear what she's asking? I purposely did not change the view on the screen because I want, we want you to listen and pretend it's the exam so that you listen without reading. But now I'll show you the question. Combien de temps y es-tu resté? 
And reste, as we said before, it means stayed. So how much time did you stay there? And my answer could be, je suis resté uh, une semaine, or j'y suis resté une semaine, the E meaning there. I spent a week there, j'y suis resté une semaine. Or I could have said, j'ai passé dix jours en Martinique. I spent dix jours en Martinique, ten days. Voilà, here they are, je suis resté, j'y suis resté. Une, une semaine, a week, un mois, un month. Or, j'ai passé dix jours en Martinique. Alors, question numéro 4. <rire> Oups! <rire> Quels sont les pays que tu as visités? Bon, alors maintenant la question. Encore une fois. Quels sont les pays que tu as visités? Ah, j'ai visité... Le Canada, la France et la Barbade. And we have our countries coming up now. We could have had la France, we could have had rather. We could have had la Martinique, la Barbade. Notice Haïti and Cuba, no articles. You just say, j'ai visité Haïti, j'ai visité Cuba. But with Mexico, le Mexique, what do you think Japan is? Le Japon, and here's a, here's a country we didn't mention before, l'Angleterre. And of course, we have the L apostrophe, the apostrophe after the L, because Angleterre begins with a vowel. We could have also had, je n'ai jamais voyagé. I've never traveled. Je n'ai jamais voyagé. Okay, now I'm going to go to a question, which is a question where you can really show off. Okay, if you had some difficulties with the previous questions, and when you come to that one, that's where you need to do as much as you can, okay? Uh, and you will try to put as many sentences as possible, anything which has, raconte-moi ton dernier voyage à l'étranger, for example, or parle-moi de ton dernier voyage à l'étranger. Alors... Okay. And we're going to do this very quickly because we don't have all that much time left. So I could say, je suis allé à Paris, j'ai pris l'avion pour Paris, any of those things. And I can also say, j'ai mangé de la nourriture délicieuse. But you would elaborate a bit more than what we're doing now because we are a little bit pressed for time. So. But it's interesting to see that the next word in the question, which starts with, si tu avais le choix, if you had the choice. Si tu avais le choix entre, une, entre un séjour à Montréal et une, croisière. et une croisière dans la Caraïbe, que choisirais-tu? Right. And so that's using the conditional tense, the first time we're seeing it. Je choisirais Montréal, j'irai à Montréal, or je ne choisirais jamais. I would never choose la croisière À cause de la COVID-19, I would never choose the <laughs> cruise because of COVID-19. We're going to give you a few little pointers as we wrap up. Yes, these are little tips. Okay, if you don't understand something, you could say, je ne comprends pas. Or, je n'ai pas compris. But also, if you don't, you're not sure what you've, you've heard, you can just say, pouvez-vous répéter, s'il vous plaît, or... Or, que veut dire le mot, or... Répétez, s'il vous plaît. Mm -hmm. And then, if you need a little pause, une minute, je réfléchis. And this is very important mm -hmm. because une minute, je réfléchis, is good for the examiner because the examiner will know that you can uh, really, you know the answer, but you haven't really said it as yet. If we don't hear anything from you, we will just move on to the next question. Okay, we're going to end with another lovely poem by Mylène. Tu veux commencer? Yes, so I wrote this poem for you. It's La vie d'un adolescent. C'est comme dans un roman. Avec ton stress et tes peines, avec tes, avec tes succès qui viennent, sois optimiste et confiant. Parce que c'est en étudiant que toi, tu transformeras une goutte en larme de joie. So life of a teenager is like a novel with your stresses and your pain and with your 
achievements which are to come, be optimistic and be optimistic and confident because it's by studying that you will change a teardrop into a tear of joy. And we just want to thank all the people who helped us again. So this is Milena and myself, but we had Elsa Kalia Burton, Martha, Martha Corbett Beau, Amanda Crawford, Roxanne Lovelace, and Elise Endala, Ramonia Smith Hamilton, Leonie Wallace, and, and Shelley Wong. Shelley Wong, a wonderful team of export experts <laughs> to help us. And now I would like you to look at the screen. We have another quiz challenge for you. Take a picture of it because we have 20 seconds left and we're going to close. Let's go to kahoot.it challenge and there's the number 08264428 and the quiz is open until 5 p.m. today. And so you can take a little picture now, relax and we just want to say bonne chance dans les examens. Bye. Au revoir. <laughs> Au revoir pour aujourd'hui. Hi there, I'm Simon Preston from TVJ. Thank you very much for watching our YouTube channel. To see our latest videos and also to see live events, click here. To see our full videos on onespotmedia.com, click here. Thank you very much. Get moving! Home workout series with Jamaica Moves. Jamaica Move! Mobilize! Flex exercise! Jamaica!